Welcome to the 11 best remote jobs that you can do at night, but there is something radically different about each one. I used to stay up at night trying to make some extra money because it didn't get in the way of my nine to five and it was after the kids went to bed. But the videos on YouTube go way too far in making you think that it's easy to make some extra money. And it's likely the reason why you are always looking for something new, but there is a better way. Each of these remote jobs will help bring in some extra cash so that you could pay some bills, go on an extra vacation, or just have the freedom to spend more time with your family. So in the next few minutes, we're gonna go over what each opportunity is, how much you can get paid for each opportunity, and then finally a remote score, which should make it a little bit easier for you to see if this opportunity is right for you or not. I remember how it was to always be stressed about money, but I am on a mission to help at least 500 people not have to be so dependent on their nine to fives and live more stress-free lives. Let's get into it. Number 11 on our list is a roadside assistance representative. When I was a single man, one thing that I always appreciated was my own independence. I remember I got my first job. I was making $9 an hour. I mean, I was the man. You couldn't tell me anything. And from the money I was able to make from that $9 an hour job, one of my biggest and first investments was in a 1995 champagne colored Honda Accord. So with my newfound independence, I took my car, went over to my friend's house just to show it to him and kind of show off, but then also so that we can play Madden, which is a video game. We literally played that game for hours, all right, to the point to where his parents went to bed and it was just me and him playing. But it, when it was finally time for me to leave, I picked up all of my stuff, walked out of the house, jumped into the car and tried to start it and nothing. Now we were teenagers at this point and it was late at night and I didn't really want to disturb his parents. But I remember that my parents had AAA. Now I was a little slightly embarrassed that I had just gotten this car and it immediately didn't want to start on me. So when I called AAA, I was kind of nervous as to how the rep was going to end up talking to me, being as though I was just a teenager who didn't know what I was doing. But I don't remember much much more from that night other than the fact that the representative she was very very nice to me she was doing more than just doing her job she was actually showing me that it was okay to accept help now there's many places that you can get a job like this but this job listing that i found in particular pays twenty dollars and 74 cents per hour for nights and weekends i'll give this a remote score of seven out of ten because it is a pretty rigid schedule that you have to have you have to work shifts throughout the night and the weekends but it's actually pretty rewarding because you're helping people out of a jam now if you thought that job was rewarding number 10 is going to get you in the fields trust me and it's a visual interpreter and i can almost guarantee that you haven't heard about this job anywhere else now imagine being in a grocery store and you see someone who's pretty much struggling trying to get a bag of chips but then you realize that in their hands they have a white cane meaning they're blind but right before you can walk up to them and give them some assistance they whip out their phone say a voice command to start the era app and the next thing you know they're talking to a representative on the phone letting them know what chip options are right there in front of them by just using the camera on their device what's really nice about this is that it's free for the first few minutes for anyone who needs to use it there's no experience required especially on your part because that you just need to use your eyes. But one thing you will need to be is nice and patient because sometimes you're gonna be walking people through some pretty interesting situations. Now, let's talk about how much you're gonna get paid for this. So it's 100% remote, you get health insurance, paid sick leave, as well as a $400 annual technology stipend for your home office. On nights and weekends, you can get paid anywhere from 22 to $23 per hour. So on the remote score, we're gonna also give this a seven out of 10 because the benefits are pretty awesome, but the job itself is very rewarding. Number nine is an IT help desk technician. Now there is one thing that I hate and that's calling the IT help desk. In fact, at my old job, we used to call it the unhelpful desk because they were never really helpful in any situation, especially if I just needed to change a password. I remember one morning I had parked my car in the garage like I did every single morning and I had to walk six blocks to my building to get to work. And that was not a good morning, all right? It was raining, it was cold, and that six blocks was like the longest six blocks ever. So when I get to work, I'm soaking wet, my fingers and toes are completely frozen and I just head to the restroom to dry myself off and then finally plop myself into my chair in my cubicle. So I started to put in my password and of course it had been 90 days and it was time to change my password again. So I go ahead and change it and everything's good. Kind of. Now that I've changed my password, I now need to put it in again so that I can log into my system and it didn't work. So then I put it in again 
and it didn't work. And then I did it one more time and of course it did not let me in. So annoyed with the whole process, I went ahead and clicked, you know, forgot your password and went through the whole process of changing my password again. I go ahead and put in the exact same password that I've been putting in all morning. And of course, what does it tell me? I can't use a password that I've used previously. So at this point, I was ready to take the computer and completely throw it out the window, but I stopped myself and had to give the dreaded unhelpful desk a call. I knew in my heart, this was going to be the most annoying call ever, right? But it wasn't. The, the help desk individual was actually very nice. And that is what you would need to be an IT help desk technician. IT help desk technicians can make anywhere from 30 to $40,000 per year. But if you take the job placement training that I put a link down in the description to check out, you might be able to find a job for anywhere from 40 to $55,000 per year for the exact same thing. On the remote score, gonna give this one a six out of 10 because it's really a thankless job. And when you have to deal with people and deal with the fact that they're already annoyed with the computer situation, that they happen to be having, it's gonna be a real test to your patience. But the upside with it is very big because if you can graduate past being just an IT help desk technician, you can end up having a pretty good career path that can lead you to a job that pays you over $150,000 a year. Number eight is study pool. Now, since my son Benji has been in school, I've been able to help him do his homework almost every single day. Now, I'm not asking to be paid for it, but wouldn't it be nice if I did get paid for just helping people with their homework? But what I didn't know was that there actually is a website you can go to that you can get paid for sharing your knowledge. And the website is called Study Pool. Now you're not gonna believe how much you can actually make just by uh, using this service, but more on that in a moment. Let's talk about how it works. The students will ask questions and then there is a money value that's being added to each question. So that's how much money you're gonna make just by answering it. So for example, a chemistry question might cost $7 to answer, where an engineering question might be like $40 per answer. The tutors then answer the questions via text message, providing a very full explanation and an answer to the question. Afterwards, the student and the tutor can then continue communicating over text message to make sure everything is smoothed out. Now, when it comes to the pay, you ready for this one? All right, how would you like to earn $7,500 per month working at home just tutoring students? It's pretty crazy, right? In fact, here are some of the highest earners on the platform, between $75,000 and $100,000 just for answering questions. I'll give this one a remote score of seven out of 10. It's slightly lower because you do have to depend on the platform in order to deliver the questions for you, which isn't all bad, but it's a great way to start out. Number seven is freelance writing. Now in 2015, I started my first website and wrote over 100 articles just for that one website. And those articles took me forever to write. I mean, we're talking a thousand words or more per article. And I'm telling you so many hours had to go into that because there's so much that's required. You have to do the research, you have to write the articles, and then you have to edit the articles before you post them online. So if I had to give it a ballpark figure, I'd say about maybe three hours per article. So if I had a hundred articles, we're talking about 300 hours, which is like almost two solid weeks of doing nothing but writing. Now, once I started getting some revenue for the site, I then reinvested that money into hiring writers to save me some more time. I would hire these freelance writers from places like Fiverr, Upwork, and onlinejobs.ph. Now at the time, I was paying anywhere from 60 to $100 per article, effectively buying my time back. But that freelance writer was getting paid every single time I needed something. Now as a freelance writer, you essentially will just be getting the topic from the site owner itself, and then you're gonna be doing the research, writing, and then editing of that article. You then deliver the finished product to the site owner, and you can wash your hands of it, you're done. Now how much can you get paid from this? Well, it varies a lot depending on your specialty, um, at the time, I was paying about $60 to $100 per article for what I needed. But the best part about the whole thing is that you can do this in your own time, especially at night. On the remote score, we're gonna give this about a six out of 10. And a big reason for this is because AI is just making these types of remote jobs a little harder to get nowadays. The best way to get around that is you need to be very, very specific in what you write about. You can't just be a general writer. Just remember that the more specific, the better. Number six on our list is an IT systems analyst. Now I have some intimate knowledge of being an IT systems analyst because I did it for more than four years before I started my entrepreneurship journey. Now there were three things that I loved about this job, but then there were also three other things that I really hated about it. So let's first talk about the things that I loved about 
another job. Number one, it paid really well. And we'll get into that more in a moment, but I can tell you it's totally worth it. Number two, unlike a help desk technician, you don't have to live on your phone the entire time. And number three, you are pretty free with your time. If there's nothing broken, there's nothing that needs to be done, you can kind of just sit there twiddling your thumbs, making money per hour. Now, the three things that I hated about it, number one, you have to usually work most holidays. And that's because that's when there's not as many people working at the, the company that you're working for. So if you roll out something and it breaks, it doesn't affect that many people. So working on the holidays was one of the things that I really did hate. It's also a 24 seven job. I used to work at a hospital that just never closed. So because of that, you were always on the number three thing that I hated about this job on call. When you're on call and you're the one that has to be there for two to four weeks or whatever, having to be called anytime something breaks, you have to stay around your house because you can't leave and go anywhere because if they call you, you got to go into work. But other than that, it was still worth it, especially for the pay. So let's get into how much they pay you. Now, I found this particular position, which is a third shift, which pays anywhere from $65,000 to $82,000 a year. But just like the help desk position, you can get paid more if you can get some specialized training training and a job placement training that I will leave a link down in the description for you to check out. On the remote score, I'll give this one an eight out of 10 because it is sustainable and pretty dependable work. You don't have to worry too much about AI because really, if you think about it, AI is a computer and someone needs to manage that computer. So. IT guys are gonna always have a job. Number five is a language telephone survey interviewer. Now this one is probably my least favorite job on this list, but it does have two benefits that I really like. Number one, it's really, really easy to do. You can literally do it with any language, but if you check out the one that I have over here on Indeed, it, this one in particular is for Spanish. You place calls directly to your computer on an installed application, and then you're gonna be jumped into the queue where you're just sitting there waiting and then calls are coming to you live. But with that said, the number two thing that I like about this job the most is the flexibility. It's part-time work and you can pretty much make your own schedule. The pay is about $30,000 per year and most places that you work for will actually buy you a computer for you to use. So even if you don't have one, one will be supplied for you. For the remote score, I will give this one a five out of 10 because the flexibility is nice, but definitely the pay could be better. Number four on our list is a YouTuber. Now, back in 2017, I was sitting at my desk finishing up another blog post and creating a video for that blog post was probably the furthest thing from my mind. I honestly had zero desire to create any kind of videos. I didn't even have a webcam. And to be honest, I mean, blogging was working. So why did I need to deviate from that at all? But then I took a blogging course. And one thing that was really stressed in the course was you need to put videos into your blog posts if you wanted them to rank better in Google and make you some more money. So armed with that new information, I literally went through almost every blog post that I had ever written over the few years and started just adding videos to each one from relevant stuff that I found on YouTube and just copying and embedding it into those posts. But here's the catch. Every video that I was putting onto those blog posts were people who created the video for their own needs and wants, right? So I had my blog, I was putting other people's videos on it, and then those videos were telling people to leave my website, which is not what I really wanted. So then I had to start making a vow to myself to start creating my own videos and then direct people to stay on my website. But here's the interesting thing. Those videos started getting more traction faster than the blog posts were. So usually a blog post takes anywhere from three to four months before you really start seeing some significant uh, visitors to your website. But with a video, it was getting like 10 times that amount of people in like a three or four days. Now making this crucial change changed my life in three different ways. Number one, creating those videos was really helpful because some of them actually started to go viral. Number two, I actually became a affiliate marketing expert of sorts on YouTube. And number three, and this is probably the best one out of all of them, doing these videos really really helped me quit my job in 2018. And I can guarantee you, none of that would have happened if it wasn't for YouTube. But let's stick to the format and talk about how much money you can make as a YouTuber. Now, this one can be very vast. It can be very different for different YouTubers. But I can tell you right now, I have this video right here that has earned over $19,000, and that's just one video that was created. Just think about it. If I had to make 100 videos, but at least one of them started making over $20,000 in the life of that video, then totally it's worth it. I will give this one a remote score of nine out of 10 because the amount of money you can make with it is pretty outstanding, but you will have to get over your fear of putting yourself out there in video form on the internet. They do have faceless videos nowadays, so there is that option as well. Number three on our list is a medical transcriptionist. Now, there are two things that makes being a medical transcriptionist worth it, and one thing that I really hate. The number one best thing about being 
one is that it's 100% remote, meaning you can pretty much do this anywhere in the world as long as you have a computer and an internet connection. Now, the way that this works is that a radiologist looks at a X-ray or a CAT scan and then they dictate into a specific device that is then recorded for a transcriptionist to listen to and verify later. The transcriptionist then listens to everything that the doctor said and they have to make sure that what's put into the actual report, which goes to the doctor and then eventually the patient, actually makes sense. Now, the second thing that I liked about this job is that you can be a stenographer. Now, a stenographer just types really, really fast. And I mean, we're talking 250 to 300 words per minute. The one thing that I didn't like about it is the pay. For example, a beginner can make anywhere from 12 to $18 per hour, and the more experienced ones can get anywhere from around $30 or more per hour. But here's the hack so that you can really make a lot more money by being a transcriptionist, is to do this as a freelancer, meaning you're not working for a company officially, you're just doing it on the side, which means since they don't have to pay you benefits and give you this and give you that, they can afford to pay you more money, which is more around the lines of like $65 an hour, which is a lot more money, but then the work will probably be a lot more inconsistent. For remote score, I'll give this like a six out of 10 because you will need to learn a lot of medical terms and make sure that you get them right because you're gonna be dealing with people's lives. You will also have to learn to be a medical stenographer, but once you learn that particular skill, you'll probably be able to have a job the rest of your life. Number two on the list is a virtual receptionist. Now I have a friend whose father owns a carpet installation company, and one thing that she always does is just answers the phone for him. And she's really good at it because she just has the office phone route to her mobile device, and she can answer the call wherever she happens to be. It's something very similar to the remote jobs that I found at this website over at smith.ai. It's a 24-7, 365 marketplace where you can get hired as a virtual receptionist. What I like the most about this is how you can break up the shifts. You can get anywhere from two to five hour shifts based on your schedule, especially if you want to work at night. It's 100% remote and you would do pretty much exactly like my friend does, answering calls for different businesses. But then you would also be taking messages, screening for new clients, maybe uh, booking appointments, collecting payments, and then transferring calls as well. The whole idea is you just need to understand what the caller needs when they're calling and then route them to the correct place. The pay could be better, but it's just a very, very simple job. Pay starts at around 30 or so thousand dollars per year, but it can be negotiated over time, especially as you learn new skills. If you were to get a job from Smith.ai, they do have healthcare benefits as well as paid trainings, and you can make more money if you speak other languages. For the remote score, I'll give this one a six out of 10 because the pay is a little low, but the flexibility is outstanding. The next one on our list is a freelance video editor. Now it's kind of similar to being a freelance writer, but it's very different in three specific ways that we'll get to in a moment. Now I can tell you that as a YouTuber, I have, man, hired so many editors in the past. It's ridiculous, but I can tell you it's a great way to make some extra money. So how is video editing different than just writing? Well, in three specific ways. Number one, video editing is in much higher demand than it has ever been. Everyone out there who has video probably needs a way to edit it. The pay is also much better as well, and you don't need a specific specialization for it. Meaning if you can learn how to edit in a certain way that keeps people watching videos on YouTube, you're gonna always have a job as long as YouTube is a thing. So how much does it pay to be a video editor on YouTube? Well, you will be an independent contractor in most instances. So if you can find jobs at Upwork or Fiverr or People Per Hour, or you can just do outreach on YouTube and uh, find people who don't seem like they're editing their videos and just reach out to them and say, hey, would you like someone to edit your videos? That's a great way for you to find some clients. Now, if you did get hired at like an agency or something that was able to give you consistent work over time, you're probably gonna make anywhere from around 80 to $150,000 a year just being a video editor. And then there are times if you get with a big enough YouTuber that if you were to help edit a video and the video just did really well on YouTube, you can get a cut of the profits from the AdSense revenue. On the remote score, I'll give this one also a nine out of 10 because the demand is constantly growing for it is highly sustainable plus you can create your own schedule and edit the videos on your own time now earlier in this video you may have noticed that some of the options on here could also be considered side hustles but i only mentioned a few of them if you want to see a big laundry list of more side hustles that you can do check out the video right here i believe in you and let's work together to live a more stress-free life take care